let's make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hi guys, today I'm back with a new video, and today I'm going to be reacting to this video. Yes, I'm reacting to another top 10 tools execution, but I'll be back with the face cam. Okay, so I do enjoy a lot of the videos on Most Basic Top 10, but some of them are just really hard to get through, and this one is the Top 10 Cruelest Execution Styles. There's a lot to take in on this. Okay, so a video is on Most Basic Top 10, but some of them are just really hard to get through, and this okay, guys, one is the back. Top 10 Cruelest Execution Styles. There's a lot to take in on this one, so get ready and just brace yourself, but there's a lot of learning as well, so it's gonna be fun. I'll try and make it fun for you guys. So throughout history, people have have devised some pretty torturous and gruesome methods of execution. Burning our way into number 10 is burning at the stake. Many societies have used this execution method on people who were convicted of treason, rebellion, heresy, witchcraft, and sexual transgressions. This execution style involves the victim being tied to a large wooden stake and set on fire. And the flames were large because many of the prisoners would be executed at the same time. Death was often caused by carbon monoxide poisoning the flames would actually cause any harm to the body. On the other hand, if the flame was small, the victim would burn for quite some time until death from hypovolemia, heat stroke, or decomposition of vital body parts occurred. Heating things up to number nine because, well, things are already heated up, but we're, we're now boiling. Boiling is this execution that the criminals would be stripped naked and then thrown oh. into a cauldron full of boiling oh, liquid or cold liquid, which would be then heated up to the point of boiling. Sometimes the executioner controlled the speed of boiling by raising or lowering the victim into the cauldron using ropes. Death would occur due to severe fourth degree burns. Time to mm. take out your shovel. We're digging our way into number eight, and we're talking about premature burial. So as the name suggests, it means getting buried alive. Yep, your darkest nightmare was once a reality. The execution style was used as a punishment for dishonorable or shameful acts such as cowardness. There isn't a lot of explanation needed for this technique. Basically, a hole was dug, and then the condemned was thrown into it and placed inside of a wooden coffin and then there would be dirt thrown on top of the victim and they would pretty much be completely buried and then they would just be left there to die most likely from suffocation or panic attacks crucifixion makes this list at number seven this is a slow and painful execution are you serious hate these ads in which the victim is tied or nailed to a large wind beam and it is left to hang for several days until they die from exhaustion and asphyxiations. Crucifixion was often performed in order to discourage the witnesses from committing the same terrible crime. Victims were left on display after death as warning to others. Crucifixion was usually intended to provide a slow and painful death that was gruesome, humiliating, and public. Okay, moving into number six with bamboo torture. This is a form of torture and execution style that was used in the East and South Asia where a bamboo shoot is grown through the body of the victim. The victim would then be tied securely in place above a young bamboo shoot and over the course of several days. The fast growing and sharp bamboo would puncture the body and then eventually penetrate the victim's body emerging through the other side. So you just have bamboo growing on the inside of you and you're just left there until you die. Climbing up this list and at number five with the breaking wheel. This was a torture device used for capital punishment by breaking the criminal's bones and then bludgeoning him or her to Death. The execution style was used from classical times into the 18th century, and this wheel was still used in the 19th century in Germany. So the victim's limbs would be tied into a spoke of the wheel, and it would be slowly turned. Through the opening of the spokes, the torturer would hit the victim with an iron hammer in order to break his bones. Once the bones were broken, he was left on the wheel to die, and sometimes they would place the wheel on a tall pole, so then birds can just feed on their victim. I mean, the people that come up with these things are insane. Gnawing our way into number for with rat torture. The cruel method was originally used in medieval China and it is often described as the most brutal torture technique ever devised. Rat torture involves live rats eating through the victim's flesh. A large pottery bowl filled with rats was placed out on the naked victim's body. A large amount of these red hot charcoal was then piled on top of the bowl which will gradually heat the air inside. The terrified rats would then gnaw through your outside. Victims would often die to the intense internal bleeding and septic shock from the infected wounds. Well, coming into number three is Ling Chi. This loosely translates to death by a thousand cuts, and it is a slow process of execution used in China from AD 900 until it was banned in 1905. So in this method, a knife would be used to remove 
portions of the body, and the flesh was cut into multiple slices over an extended period of time. This punishment was used for three reasons. As a form of public humiliation, as a slow, lingering death, and as a punishment after death because cutting the body into pieces meant that the victim's body would not be whole in spiritual life after death. Okay, so things are just, uh, they're just so gruesome, but there's a lot of educational behind, like, what they used to do back then. Well, coming into number two on this list is hanged, drawn, and quartered. This is a statutory penalty in England that was used on men who was convicted of high treason, which means committing a crime that betrays one's country. This is like a capital punishment. Convicts were tied to a hurdle or wooden panel and dragged behind a horse to the place of execution where they would be hanged almost to the point of death. They were then emasculated, disemboweled, beheaded, and quartered, so chopped into four pieces. And finally, in at number one, we have death by song. You can pretty much just tell by the name of this execution style, you pretty much saw a person in half, either vertically or horizontally. I don't really know who chooses. This incredibly cruel execution method was used mostly in medieval Europe. This is a single case in which people are hung upside down and what then the sawn heck? apart vertically through the middle, starting from your bottom half and all the way to your head. While some victims oh were cut completely in half, most of them were only sliced up to their abdomen, which would just prolong their agony and death. Well, there you guys have it. Uh, is this like the worst top 10, the most graphical top 10? Hopefully there's not too many bad images used for you guys and you guys can sleep tonight. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys all in the next one. So I know what you guys are thinking and what you guys are going to comment. Oh my God,